Hello friends, now we will discuss how many ways we can represent a relation. First one is a roster form. A roster form or you can say it is a tabular form. In this form, we re the relation A related to B, read as A is related to B and it is in the set of all order pairs, all order pairs, such so that let if we define a set A where elements are 0, 1, 3. Another set B where elements are 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. And if you call a relation R is defined as sum of A and B is equals to 5, where A belongs to set A and B belongs to set B. So, sum is 5. So, if you take the 0, so 0 we know 0 plus 5 is equals to 5. So, we will write 0 related to 5. Then 1 plus 4. 1 plus 4 equals to 5. So, we will write 1 related to 4. And then 3 and 2. 3 plus 2 is equals to 5. So, 3 related to 2. So, the order pairs we are getting. So, we will write R is equals to, in roster form you are writing 0, 5, because this you have to write, write in the set of as all order pairs. So, first order pair is 0, 5, then 1, 4. 1, 4. And then three comma two. This is called roster form. Or tabular form. Next is coming set builder form. Cellular form. There we write. R is equals to order pair A comma B such that A belongs to A, B belongs to B and A plus B is equals to 5. This is set builder form. Arrow diagram. So, we have taken set A as 0, 1, 3. B, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. So, in arrow diagram, we take two sets. Put up the elements 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. And what are the relation we got? R as order pair we got as per A plus B is equal to 5, 0, 5, 1, 4. 3, 2 and that we represent in our arrow diagram as 0, move to it 5. One, four.
and three two. So now another way also we can represent that is called lattice. Lattice and we are taking some grills here. This is not is a x axis and this is y axis. If we take the points marked at one, two, three. And then if we take one, two, three, four, five, and our points are zero, five, so we'll take lattice in this form. R is represented as darkening the dots. What are the dots? Zero, five, the position x is zero and y is five. So this dot. We make a dot here. Next one is one comma four. So one and this four. So we make a dot here. And last one is three comma two. So we make a dot here. This is three and this is two. So there are four forms. One is a Roaster form, tabular form. Here we write as order pairs. As per the relation defined, a plus b phi, we are taking 0, 5, 1, 4, 3, 2, and we write it. It is in a set. We write all the order pairs that is roaster form. And then we are coming to set builder form where or it is called a rule form. So there we write the rules as a plus b is equal to 5, where a belongs to set a, b belongs to set b. And then we are writing the arrow diagrams, where 0 connect to it 5, then 1 connect to it 4, and then 3 connect to it 2, so that sum of 0 and 5 is 5, 1 plus 4 is 5, 3 plus 4 is 5. Now, domain and range. We will discuss with the domain and range. So, it, we have taken the previous there are two sets. First set contains zero one three. Second one zero one two four five. Domain now under the relation R is equals to a comma b such that a belongs to a and b belongs to b and a plus b is equals to 5 where a contains the elements 0 1 3 and b contains 0, 1, 2, 4, 5. And if under this relation, we have found that 0 map to it, connect to it 5, 1, and 4 to get 5, and 3, comma 2 to get So, first components that is 0, 1, and 3. So, domain 
is equal to set of all elements or all first component. That is zero, one, and three, and range set of second components that is. We have found zero five one four three two. So only these three elements are belongs to the range. So this is equals to two four five and set B is called core domain. Zero, one, two, four, five, and we see the range is a subset of codomain. Now, inverse relation. It is denoted by R inverse. We found R is equals to zero, five. One four three two. So R inverse would be five zero four one two three. So if R is equals to A B. As that A belongs to B, A set A, and B belongs to set B, then we define our inverse all order pairs B comma A, where B belongs to set B, and A belongs to set A. Okay, thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesson. And more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net.